Hello all, it's your boy Scooby331 here. Uh, I'm uploading this video as a reaction to uh, an article I just came across. I normally don't do these reaction videos, uh, things of that nature. Just, it's not really my meat. But this is the thing. I, uh, just really quick, wanted to do a video today. Just put something up, you know, try to keep, uh, keep fresh content up here or whatever, and since I'm in between cameras, in between equipment, I wasn't really going to do any of these videos. Then I seen this article, and I said to myself, hmm, yeah, I got to do one of these. So I'm going to bring this up real quick, just bear with me. All right, check this out. Cry Closet may help Utah students overcome stress of final exams. This is uh, Fox News on MSN.com, so you got the right and the left, so it's a straight down the middle one, so here we go. <sighs> I'm just shaking my head because of what this is about. I didn't even read it yet. <sighs> Students at the University of Utah will have the opportunity to relieve stress during finals week by locking themselves in the closets, in the school's cry closet for a short period of time. I'm going to read that again, all right? Students at the University of Utah will have the opportunity to uh, relieve stress during finals week by locking themselves in the school's cry closet for a short period of time. Yeah, I did read that correctly the first time and the second time. You heard that, right? A student's tweet about the cry closet went viral Tuesday. You know, I don't mean to laugh because this is actually like a problem with these kids, but still. Good Lord. All right. The small room in the middle of the Marriott Library on the Salt Lake City campus features a narrow door with dark lining, a plush floor, and, stu and stuffed animals inside. Jesus Christ almighty, God forgive me. According to Fox 13, Salt Lake City. A safe place for stressed out students, a note on the door reads, this place is meant to provide a place for students studying for finals to take a short 10-minute break. I don't know if it's Jana or Jana. We'll go with Jana. Jana Cunningham, the school's communications specialist, told the station that the cry closet is mainly for students who are feeling overwhelmed with the stress of finals. Yeah, I just want to say something before I finish reading this. If you're a student and you're going to be like a cardiologist or a neurologist and I find out, yeah, you're not working on me if you had to use a cry closet. What happens if you do an open heart surgery? They got a cry closet in that uh, hospital if you fuck up? Nah, I don't think so. Unbelievable. It's a great place to just come and decompress, and that's really what it's for, she said. One Twitter user blasted the school as pathetic for installing the room in the library. That guy, guy or girl deserves a medal. This is beyond pathetic. First, we tried to have Swoop be our mascot. Now this, the user wrote. Wait to prepare students for the real world. Wonder how many uh, prospective employers have cry closets. It's pretty much what I just said. Swoop, a red-tailed hawk, became the university sports mascot after depictions of American Indians were dropped. Uh, well, Fox, it's supposed to be Native Americans. That's a faux pas on your point. I'm just I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. You want to call them? Fuck, you can call them Redskins if you want. I, I actually got a couple of friends who are Native, and they actually like the term Redskins. It's, it's kind of cool sounding to them. I don't know. But I had mentioned uh, on air the other night, I got a Native American friend. He was a bit of a wild man, so I can't really use him as a barometer to judge. But let's continue. The school said the cry closet will come down next Wednesday once finals are finished. I just got this picture in my head of a group of kids standing around looking at the space where the cry closet used to be crying because they got no closet to go into. Anyway. So that was the article. All right, now I'm going to pine on it, but this wasn't me opining it. Now you're going to hear my opinion. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm actually for this cry closet, and I'll tell you why. You're going to say this is an invasion of privacy. You're going to say all these things when I say what I'm about to say. I don't care. If you want to use a cry closet, it should go on your permanent record. you got emotional problems. I'm serious. You shouldn't be allowed in a certain field. Um, if you're going to be a lawyer, uh, let's say my... My nephew, he's going on a trial for murder. You know, he's he's just, he gets stereotyped because, you know, he's there. He fits the description. He fits the bill. Even though I know that the, the kid, he, he, he doesn't have the heart for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a gut thing with me. Now, this is their lawyer. One of these cry closet people. The case gets too much stress. Where's the lawyer when my nephew's in court? Oh, the lawyer's in the bathroom crying. 
My mother, my saintly mother, she has to go in, let's say, God forbid, for open heart surgery. The, te the team is there prepped with the gloves on. Everyone's, where's the surgeon? Oh, the surgeon's down in the cafeteria crying because of the stress and the pressure. No. You want to use a cry closet, it goes on your permanent record. You can't be in a stressful position. You just screwed yourself. Now, I know that sounds horrible, but I'm sorry. This isn't the cuddle hour. This is real life. You should have done this shit with these kids back in grade school. When there's still stuff going on. Once they go through puberty, this shit should have been ironed out. I'm sorry. You know what? You made a pro you've made an entire generation of codependents. Mazel tov. Really, you get my you get my congratulations. You know what? My hat is off to you. Because this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen or heard of. I keep saying that, you know. Maybe I should make it like a weekly segment. The dumbest shit Scooby's ever heard of. Because each week I keep getting topped. This is the best one yet. I, you know, I heard of the safe space rooms. I heard of the shit where they were handing out puppies to these kids when they were... But you're actually going to put a room with stuffed animals, a pink plushy room for these kids to go roll around in for 10 minutes because they didn't get the A-minus that they were shooting for? Nah. Nah, you know what? Yeah, I'm glad they did this. I honestly would like to see them put a thing in retroactively where they get these records to find out which of these kids are crackpots. Because they can't be in the private sector. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I don't even want these people working as janitors. Someone slips and falls. They're not going to clean the, the, the building that they're in because they're crying? Because the person slipped and falls? You know, shit happens. It really does. You know, my father, may rest in peace, he had a doctor. This doctor would lose a patient. He'd take a vacation somewhere for two weeks. And he'd go and he'd research in these different libraries treatments for whatever killed his patient. He didn't go cry. He didn't go into a safe space. This man, because he felt he failed, so he tried to do better. This was before the internet. This was before we had the communications era we had now. This man was, in my opinion, a pioneer. And you don't get that nowadays. Now you have these kids. They throw up their hands. They bury their head in their hands after they do that. It's it, Basically, it's like this. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That's the motions. And that's what you're encouraging with this crazy shit. You're not going to find too many people like my father's doctor anymore. One, the communication error made him lazy. And two, you people made him into pansies. Congratulations. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen or heard. I'm Scooby331. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.